Greetings all, I'm the Spaceman, and I've landed in your area once again. And tonight it's time for a new pipe tobacco review that's strange, but may be true. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at a blend made by Peterson from the year of 2016. That blend is Peterson Special Reserve Limited Edition. Um, this tobacco is st still packaged from 2016 and as you know this type of blend that comes in the tin is uh, packaged in this manner so I'm hoping that it's still fresh like it should be before I open the packaging I would like to read what's on the back of the tin to you beautiful tin by the way I love the artwork with the leaf and it's embossed and everything and it's kind of really neat the name Peterson is embossed and you can feel it uh, protruding outward it's kind of really cool uh, these blends are no longer available in the United States they're only available in the United Kingdom or other countries and they will no longer ship them to the United States so there you have it if you have it hang on to it and sip it slowly and make it last make it last okay so we're gonna read the back of the tin now Peterson Special Reserve. This blend consists of a variety of Virginias rounded off with Burley and Cavendish. A gentle layer of exotic fruits give this blend what connoisseurs are looking for. Now, I've had this tin since August 24th of 2017. Now, like I said, and it was a 20, it's from 2016. So, I am hoping that this tobacco did not dry up or go bad I was told by someone that as long as you leave this uh, sealed that it'll keep I have to say I was kind of uh, hesitant about believing that um, mm, I don't know mm, it does feel dry but maybe it'll be good that way it smells wonderful Citrusy. You can smell the Virginias and the Burley. Kind of maybe a little bit of vanilla in there, but a fruity, fruity essence of a tin note. Nonetheless, so I'm going to skip out of here and load this pipe up, and I'll be right back to fire it up. I've returned. And the pipe of choice tonight that I'm smoking this great Peterson blend in is my Boswell Shot Shell Billiard. I love this pipe. It is like a really nice, it's got a nice sandblast finish on it and a, a nice wood grain shank with a, with a uh, well, Winchester, I don't know. I don't know what that uh, shell is from. It, but it's from a real shotgun shell. Tobacco is on the dry side, but not bad considering. I mean, considering it's been sitting in that tin in the plastic for two years, it's pretty decent. Um, this tobacco blend is listed on Tobacco Reviews as being comprised of Black Cavendish, Burley Cavendish, and Virginia tobaccos. The top flavoring is a fruit citrus. The cut is a ready rubbed. Um, of course, it comes in a 100 gram tin. And it says it's currently available at pipe at smoking pipes, but 
It's not. I want to show you the, the cut. Rather pretty looking. And um, so far I'm getting like a citrusy kind of orange flavor. Matches the summer very well. Very nice cut there, ready rubbed. And um, believe it or not, it did keep. I mean, it's it's flavorful. I mean, it, it could stand to be a little bit moister, but at least I don't have to uh, dry it out. And um, I'm, I'm amazed that it kept for two years in this, the way it was packaged. You know, it might be a lot better since it is drier. Probably won't experience as much tongue bite. I think it's a very sad thing that we cannot get these Peterson blends anymore, these special reserves. Of course, we all know whose fault that is. I'm not going to go down that old trail again. Because the wagons have circled that trail too many times. But at least I got this. And this will last me a while. I'm not going to be smoking it constantly as I have a big blend rotation. I highly recommend this blend with a cup of tea, whether it be hot tea or iced tea. Very good. The Virginias are offering the spicy citrusy flavor as well as the topping. It's a little spicy, but also nutty and earthy which would be from the uh, Burley, I would imagine, or the, the Virginias. Um, or it could be just the topping. Like I said, they put the topping on there. So, you know, that could be what the, um, the nutty, earthy spiciness is coming from. But it does have a spiciness to it, and it has a citrusy kind of fruit juice flavor to it um, overall not a bad tobacco um, very low nicotine in this one um, you're gonna wanna puff lightly on this one or it's going to bite you I guarantee it will bite you it's already getting hot um, I'm gonna set the pipe down and we're gonna turn the video off and I'll be back after this pipe cools down a little since my cadence is so extremely fast I kind of over, I kind of heated it up a little bit so I'm gonna sit back and uh, have a cool drink here and I'll be right back in a few seconds we'll see you then I've returned again amazingly my bowl has cooled off sooner than I thought I'm getting like a uh, fruity flavor profile that um, let's see it's kind of like um, I, I taste some pineapple in here maybe some mango uh, strength wise this tobacco is not too strong and not too weak maybe I want to say a notch above mild I said it's uh, spicy it's got some spice to it a little bit of a hit a spice hit if you retro hail with it probably not a blend of my choice um, but you know, it would do in an off period when I feel like smoking something different. Um, 
as far as rating it, you know, I mean, it's an aromatic. Um, I like aromatics. I, I would not rate it very high as an aromatic. I would have to give it a low rating so far, very probably two and a half stars. It's not a very delicious aromatic. Like, I mean, for instance, there's no way you could compare this to Boswell's aromatics. I mean, they're like one of the best I've ever had. And um, there are others out there too. And um, But it's not bad. And it's pleasant mellow smoke. It could be an all-day smoke, if you will. Spice-wise, it's probably peppery. You know, I don't know if there's perique in here. It doesn't. It's not listed as having perique. It's a possibility there may be some in here, but I can tell you that there's definitely. Um, tastes like two or three more fruit toppings in this blend so so I'm gonna sit back and um, puff on this for a little bit and then I will be back to uh, finish off this video I'll talk to you in a second I've returned with my final thoughts on this blend um, I would have to say that the fruit toppings that are in this well overpower the tobacco taste I mean I words I can taste some of the burley and the Virginia sweetness the fruit toppings are very they're probably medium to strong whereas the tobacco uh, flavorings and natural tobacco flavorings are low to medium or maybe just a notch past mild um, but the flavor profile of the toppings fruits like pineapple mango maybe a little orange in there would be medium to strong so you know where does that leave us with this blend um, for me, I'm not going to rate it up very high. Um, aromatics for me that I rate high, as you know, would be Boswell uh, and um, McClellan's, some of the McClellan's, and etc. There's a few others. Um, Aaron Moore is a good one for fruit, at least, too. I would have to say that the internet, I was reading some of the ratings on the internet, it's kind of a lot of hype and overrating on this one, so it's not going to be, well I can't reorder it, it's not available, so I'm not going to reorder it. So folks, that'll do it for me, I'm going to give it, I'm going to leave you with two and a half stars, it's not a blend that I really like a whole lot, so there you have it. Uh, Peterson Special Reserve 2016 not too bad and I dug back into the tin and I kind of squished the tobacco together and it is a little bit it's still a little bit moist so I mean the way they package it it kind of keeps pretty well for that type of uh, packaging so anyway keep looking up to the sky for the spaceman and I just might land in your area next time around. Happy smoking. Oh, yeah.